I feel us as black people, we tend to try, not a lot of us, try to be accepted by people who will never accept us. Even when they try to tell us, oh, if you do this, then you'll get treated that way. But at the end of the day, it, I, I really don't get it. You know what I mean? And we, before, you know, all this black pride and stuff like that, we were looked at as two-thirds a person. We weren't even looked at as real people. So when when the white supremacy and the racist people and all that that was going on back then, when they see a group of people that's been suppressed for so long finally come out and say, oh, I'm black and I'm proud, I love myself, I love my people, coming out like this, so on and so forth, they see that as a threat, so they're going to say certain things to make it seem like what we're doing is wrong or what we're doing is racist and how it's not helping anything, um, evolving anything or helping anything become a better situation because we're just adding to it, which to me makes no sense. I feel like since we've been su suppressed for so many years, who cares about what others think when you say black power, I love my people, I love being black, my skin is beautiful, my hair is beautiful, so on and so forth strut it be you do you don't do not let anyone's opinions affect who you are like for a lot of us black people we really do care too much about other people's opinions if we say oh i'm proud of being black somebody be like oh my gosh you're racist or i heard a comment on twitter some dumb white dude was like oh why y'all have the bt but we don't have no the wet awards and I'm just sitting over here like, because every time we flip on the TV, we see your face. We don't see ours. So we have to <laughs> make things for just our people to show them that, you know, we have this, we have that. This is not all that you ha have that's available. So we had to, and we were banned from a lot of the things that white people had. So we had to make black schools, black colleges, black churches, black TV networks, so on and so forth to show pride in our people because that was especially during those times when we were told we weren't anything we were less than people were killing us for no reason they're still doing that today that's why we're saying black lives matter you know people always want to say oh all lives matter i don't understand why y'all just saying blacks why you think we just saying blacks because all this bs that's going on still within our not even within our own um, our race you know people doing certain things to our people and even our people still being suppressed and oppressing their own people. If you understand what I'm saying. Like when we say black, black, black people calling black people ghetto, oh, that's why I don't like my people because they do certain things. Stereo stereotypes is the worst thing ever because I feel like that that's what separates everybody. You know, a lot of people fear black people. A lot of people don't like white people because, oh, all white people are this. All black people do this. I feel like... That's another reason why prejudice, prejudiceness, if that's the word, is here. It's because we stereotype a lot. To me, that's, to me, it's just ridiculous. You know what I mean? I don't really care about too many people. I love my black people. I want to, you know, build up our communities, support our black businesses, support our black artists. You know what I mean? So on and so forth. Build our own community. Bump the system that we have. Create our own systems. Create our own, you know, create our own, own things since we aren't even a part of theirs, if I should say that, because that's how I feel. You know what I mean? If the system isn't going to protect us, we need to create our own systems, our own whole thing. And that's just how I feel. But yeah, if you're a black person, just love who you are. Know that slavery is not the start of our of, um, African history or black history. Read, educate yourself. The application of knowledge is power so on and so forth love being who you are don't ever let no one tell you you're ugly don't ever let anyone get in your skin telling you oh in order for you to be beautiful you need to look like this the light versus dark that's stupid but anyway um just educate yourself know where you came from know where your people came from your customs your traditions um our history uh what was the other thing 
the things our ancestors have done that passed on from generation to generation. I feel like that's very important for black people to know where we came, really came from because a lot of our history has been stolen and a lot of our history has been rewritten. And for order, uh, in order for us to grow as a group, we have to let the suppression and the oppression go. And no, we have to not empower our minds first because we don't shouldn't have to pray and um, ask people to be accepted. We should just create our own stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, y'all ain't taking us here. We're going to do our own thing. You know, we've been doing that already, so why not continue? Bump the system, all that. But, you know, I just wanted to make that real quick because I feel like there are a lot of, you know, people, black people in this world that, you know, oh, damn, this is running on six minutes, that don't don't have love for their own people because what we're perceived to be and you know it's really it really is crazy but like I said now the application of knowledge is power learn your own history don't listen to these history this history that we've learned in school that's all a lie you know what I mean they even you know I won't get in that just read <laughs> but anyway be black and be proud.